What's up guys, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, my name is Rachel. This is my husband Cole and we have been living full time in our renovated camper back here since May and it is November as we are now recording this. One of the biggest questions that we get about full-time travel is how we work on the road, how we make money, the challenges of working on the road, etc. So we thought this would be a good time to talk about some of that, address some of those questions. Here we go. Let's start at the beginning. What do we do for money? I'll let you start. So I work for a company called Medical Solutions and I am a travel nurse recruiter. So I work a normal Monday through Friday, eight to five type job where I'm basically on a computer or making phone calls through the computer pretty much most of the day. For me, it's a little more complicated than that. I've been dabbling in a little bit of this, a little bit of that since going on the road. I worked a full-time job as a TV news reporter for a very long time before we decided to go on the road full-time. Um, obviously, I can't do that on the road. That is very much an in-person job. So a couple different things that I do. I've been doing YouTube since we left in May. Um, I make a very small amount of money <laughs> through YouTube, very small. I also recently started doing freelance voiceover work and even more recently started doing some on camera work like green screen reads. This isn't sustainable. I will eventually have to get something to supplement the small income that I'm currently getting. I'm making way less than I was before we went on the road, but that's what I'm currently doing for money. Another big question that we get is how do we get internet on the road? Obviously both of our jobs right now require internet. You can do this a couple different ways, but we rely on cellular signal for our Wi-Fi. So we have two separate Wi-Fi hotspots, one through Verizon, one through T-Mobile. And I should mention we are on the highest data plans that you can possibly have for both of those. And we absolutely need that. <laughs> We run out every month. Our internet situation is not ideal though. I would say it works well maybe 70% of the time. Everybody in the world is getting Starlink. So many full-time RVers are getting Starlink. It is more expensive. Will we get Starlink? I don't know. We have no plans to do that right now. We're just going with our two little hotspots that we have. Let's talk about where we work specifically. Cole works sitting down at the table inside the camper. Yeah, we built a dinette and that's really the only place you can like sit in our camper. The only other place to sit is on our bed. So we have an L-shaped dinette with a table, like a dining table in there. So I sit and work in there from basically eight to five every day. I did buy the four inch memory foam to construct the seat that he sits on, but apparently it's not. Great. Still not the most comfortable thing in the world, but it works. I work from wherever is most convenient. Sometimes I work inside the camper, but I really try not to do that. I work outside a lot. We got a screen tent that I'll occasionally work inside. Today, I just sat out here at this table at the campground that we're at, and I worked out here. I work in the truck sometimes. Um, she can work anywhere. I like to occasionally go to a coffee shop if we're close to one and work there. I focus really well in that kind of environment. I'm all over the place. Um, I need something a little bit more structured, and so she's done a good job of kind of letting me have my space and use the camper as my workspace because I struggle with distractions and noises and things like that where she can basically work anywhere with anything going on. Okay, that brings me to the next one of challenges of working on the road. There are quite a few. Um, where to begin? Just having spotty internet at times can be very stressful in my job where I have to be logged in and online for a certain amount of hours per day. So if we do not have great internet. There's been times where I've had to leave the campground, drive into town. You know, I might have to be offline for 30 or 40 minutes, which I do not like to do. So that's always in the back of my mind whenever we move to a new place. What if we get there, we're getting set up and the internet sucks. Like we're booked for four or five days or a week. Like how am I gonna react to that? Where am I gonna go? So just having that in the back of my head is always pretty worrisome. I really like to have a quiet controlled environment when I work and it's tough to do in a small space with two dogs and another person where I like to have like a quiet office space. So not having that privacy can be an issue at times for me. I don't feel like I can focus very well if I have a lot of distractions around me. 
kind of had to find ways to get creative with finding two separate workspaces, usually one for her outside of the camper somewhere so I can have the camper to focus on my work throughout the day. And I think that goes along. I think two issues are in there would be there's no privacy and you have a hard time focusing on the road. Lots of things that don't make it as easy for me to stay focused and on task throughout the day. Okay, for me, what do I think is difficult? <laughs> I'll echo the spotty internet thing. It's really frustrating. Like yesterday, for example, I was trying to get a video uploaded and uh, we have like three different internet options where we are right now. We have our two hotspots and we have pretty decent internet at this campground and it just wasn't enough. None of it was enough to upload a 30 plus minute YouTube video. So that was incredibly stressful. I had to drive down the road and try to get better signal on the hotspot and um, so yeah, the spotty internet is definitely difficult depending on what you're doing. Another thing for my work is you have no control of the noises around you. Even if you're staying in like a peaceful setting, like where we are right now, there might be cars driving by or a plane Peaceful overhead. settings have noises. Yeah, there's even bugs, peaceful settings like have there's noises. There's birds, there's like- Animals. Oh. There have been situations where like right now there's something and when I'm like trying to do voiceover work or I'm trying to record something like this, um, you just have those distractions and there's really nothing you can do about it. One other thing I'll say is uh, it can be really difficult to stay organized with all of my work items in a small space like my laptop, all my external hard drives, my camera gear, my microphone. It's just a lot of stuff and there's not really a good place to store all of it in the camper so it ends up in like multiple different places and it stresses me out because there isn't just like one space that's large enough for that stuff. So the last thing that we're going to talk about are just a few items that have made it a little bit easier for us to work on the road. One thing that is a new addition is this guy. This is a portable power station. This is the Opus 600 watt portable power station and it allows us to power multiple devices from just about anywhere. Right out of the box, I was impressed. The setup was super simple. Right away, I loved how the power station is compact and portable. At 19 pounds, it doesn't add much weight to our rig, which is a huge deal when you're living on the road. And it allows me to set up an office at each new campground. With USB-C, two USB-A, and two AC outlets, I can keep my laptop, phone, and other devices charged throughout the workday. What I also love is you can recharge the power station a number of different ways. You can use a regular AC wall outlet, a 12 volt car port, or a wall outlet and USB-C simultaneously for even faster charging. Check out the link in our description box for more information and to get your own portable power station from Opus. Our viewers can use the code WILD10 at checkout for 10% off. So we've had this thing for a few weeks now. Uh, I can bring it outside when I'm working and power all of my devices on this all day long, no problem. So it has been a game changer for working on the road. So I got a portable monitor that basically looks like a giant iPad that has a fold out screen. It's easy to store and having two monitors for my job makes things 10 times more efficient. Like I can barely do my job just on just my laptop. So. Buying that, it was cheap on Amazon. It was like hundred bucks and to have a fold out screen is amazing. I thought about talking about, you know, what are the great parts of working on the road? But I think those are pretty obvious, right? Like you get to work in a new environment all the time, see beautiful things, travel to great places and still do your job. I think that kind of speaks for itself. So go ahead and let us know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.